managerial accounting, job order costing. We're looking at cost flows, and right now we're on one of the September 30th. So let's see, we're almost done. It says on September 30th, we completed and transferred job A, which was 58,840 units, and job B, which was 3,525 units, into finished goods for a total cost of 322,400. So goods are leaving work in process and going into finished goods which means we're going to be debiting finished goods for the total cost of job A and job B. In other words, what's the cost of the goods manufactured for job A and job B? And they told us that was $322,400. And we're going to credit, uh, yeah, I did that right, credit work in process for job A and job B, again, for $322,400. And if I broke out and totaled up on the job order cost cards for job A and job B, they would in sum come to this. So some of these costs, all those A costs, are now flowing into finished goods. All these B costs are also flowing into finished goods. Next entry on the 30th says, we ship job A to a customer and the total production costs related to job A were 294200 So job A is going to leave finished goods and go into, yeah, cost of goods sold. So job A's cost came to a total of, we found this out, 294200 so we're going to credit finished goods for $294,200 and we're going to debit, not on this page, cost of goods sold, $294,000, what was it, $200,000? Yep. So job A has been sold. In addition, it says that the selling price of this job was 418240 Now, that's a sale, isn't it? We better know how to do this. So also on the 30th, I'm going to credit sales, because I made a sale, I sold these goods, and that was for 400, I'm so glad we marked it up a lot, 418240 So if my credit is to sales, what's my debit? I bet it's accounts receivable. So let's find it. 418,240 goes, ah, oh, there's accounts receivable. So on the 30th, we're going to debit 418,240. Did I do that right? I have, I hope, I hope, did I write the right number? 418,240, yes, to accounts receivable. So when you make a sale, remember there's two entries. The first, make the sale by debiting account receivable, crediting sales. The second, debit cost of goods sold for the cost and credit finished goods inventory.